baptism of our Lord. Year B. From the Gospel according to Mark. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In the name of that same Spirit who with the Father and the Son lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. The baptism of John, the baptism with which Jesus was baptized, was all about repentance, confessing to the ways in which we have failed to uphold our end of any of the many oaths we've taken in the course of our lives. There's very little agonizing in Mark's gospel over what to do next. Everything happens suddenly and immediately, much as things have happened this past week, and much as things happen with the 12 Ephesians in the book of Acts. The Ephesians no sooner hear about this new baptism than they seek it, and no sooner are they baptized than they manifest signs of the Spirit. This manifestation of the Spirit is one of the major differences between the baptism of John and baptism in the name of Jesus. John baptized for calling upon God to put to death the sin that undermines the integrity of our lives. To baptize in the name of the Trinity is for both this death to sin and for the new life of resurrection according to the power of the Spirit. We see the power of the Trinity that we invoke upon ourselves in baptism at work in the beginning of the creation. The Father creates the heavens and the earth, and the earth is a matter of darkness and waters and a formless void. The Spirit moves over the face of the water, and the Son, the Word, speaks light into existence. God sees the light and declares it good. And having seen, God divides and names both the light and the darkness so that they both may manifest the goodness created within them. In baptism, we invite the Trinity to work with this same power with us in the chaos of our lives, helping us to see and divide and name, helping us to ascribe to the Lord the glory and strength that can overcome sin and death, raising us to newness of life, helping us to worship the Lord as we admire the beauty of holiness wherever we encounter it in the world, helping us to choose right actions for the welfare and peace of the world. What then are we waiting for? Let our feet be ever ready to walk in the ways of justice and peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.